Dear brothers and sisters, today, I come to you with a message from Our Lady, as she revealed it to Luz de Maria. The words of Our Blessed Mother carry great urgency and must not be ignored. She spoke to us as a loving mother who cares deeply for each one of her children. My beloved children, I come to you today with a message of great importance, a message that must not be ignored. Hear the words of your mother who cares deeply for each one of you. The time has come to prepare your hearts and souls, for a great storm is rising in the world, one that will shake nations and stir the seas of conflict like never before. The days ahead will test the faith of many, and the only sure refuge will be in the arms of the Lord. I come to you as a loving mother to warn of a great battle brewing, a battle not just of nations, but of souls. The conflict between Iran and Israel is only the beginning. This war, like a fire, will spread, engulfing other nations and drawing them into the flames. The world stands on the edge of a precipice, and you must know, my children, that three great powers will soon join this conflict, pushing humanity to the brink. The United States will enter this conflict with overwhelming military power, convinced that it can dictate the outcome through its superior resources and strategic influence. However, its confidence will lead to overreach. The U.S. will deploy troops, increase airstrikes, and provide extensive military support to Israel, believing these actions will quickly suppress the opposition. Yet, as it intensifies its involvement, it will face unexpected resistance from both regional powers and internal divisions. Its attempts to stabilize the region will fail, escalating into more widespread violence. Domestic unrest will grow as the cost of the war mounts, turning the land of liberty into a place of sorrow, where both its soldiers and civilians will bear the scars of a prolonged, bloody conflict. Hezbollah, acting as Iran's proxy, will launch strategic attacks against Israel, targeting cities, infrastructure, and military bases. Armed with advanced weaponry supplied by Iran, Hezbollah's strikes will be deadly and precise, aiming to spread fear and chaos throughout Israel and beyond. The group will ignite violence across Lebanon, turning it into a war zone, while also expanding its attacks into other parts of the region. Terrorist cells supported by Hezbollah will strike in unexpected locations, further destabilizing neighboring countries. Their actions will provoke retaliatory strikes from Israel, creating a cycle of violence that will spread destruction across the Middle East. Russia will step into the conflict not as a neutral observer, but as a decisive actor, providing arms, intelligence, and political support to Iran and its allies Russia will aim to weaken the U.S. presence in the region and reshape the balance of power. It will establish military bases, send in advisors, and possibly deploy troops to support its strategic interests, presenting itself as a protector of regional stability while further deepening the divide between East and West. As Russia asserts its presence, the conflict will expand beyond the borders of the Middle East drawing in new players and creating a situation that could spiral into a broader global war. These three powers, the United States, Hezbollah, and Russia, will combine to create a storm so fierce that it will feel as though the very foundations of the earth are shaking. They will ignite a fire that cannot easily be extinguished, and this fire has the potential to drag humanity into a war the likes of which it has never seen. Make no mistake, my beloved children, this war could lead to what many have long feared, a third world war. Nations will rise against nations, alliances will break, and new ones will form. Blood will be spilled, not just on the battlefields, but in cities, towns, and homes across the world. The pain and suffering will be great, and many will cry out, asking, Why, Lord? Why must this happen? Do not be deceived, my children. The powers of this world will promise peace, but their peace is false. They will speak of diplomacy, of negotiations, but behind closed doors, they prepare for war. They will claim to seek justice, but their actions will only bring chaos. Do not place your trust in the promises of men, 
for they will lead you astray. As the nations prepare for war, so too must you prepare your hearts. The enemy seeks to sow confusion and fear among the faithful, but you must stand firm in your faith. The world will offer you many distractions, news of war, rumors of peace, promises of safety, but do not be led astray. The only safety, the only true peace, is found in the sacred heart of Jesus. There will be those who say, we can prevent this war, we can stop it with our efforts. But understand, my children, that while you must work for peace, the course of these events is not fully in human hands. The world is groaning under the weight of sin, and these conflicts are the result of humanity's disobedience to God. Your task is not to place your hope in earthly leaders, but in the eternal King who reigns above all. My children, I know that these words may cause fear and uncertainty. You may wonder, what can we do in the face of such destruction? How can we stand against such forces? But I tell you, do not be afraid. The Lord is with you, and his plans are far greater than the plans of men. Though the nations rage and kingdoms fall, God's kingdom stands forever. This is not a time for despair, but for hope. Do not lose heart when you see these things come to pass, for they are but the beginning of the birth pains that will lead to a new era of peace. But first, you must endure the trial. You must remain faithful even when it seems that the world is falling apart around you. You will be tempted to doubt. You will be tempted to ask, Where is God in all of this? But I assure you, He is closer than ever. His power is moving in your life even now, and He will bring you through the storm if you remain close to Him. Remember, my children, that God's ways are not our ways. You may expect peace to come through the actions of governments or through treaties, but God's plan for peace is different. It begins in the heart of each believer. The peace that he offers is not of this world. It is the peace that surpasses all understanding. Though the path ahead may be difficult, do not lose sight of the greater plan. God's will is for the salvation of all souls, and He is using even these terrible events to bring about His ultimate victory. Trust in His divine providence and know that nothing happens outside of His control. Though the world may seem to be spinning into chaos, God's hand is guiding history towards its rightful end. My beloved children, I leave you with this. Be strong in the Lord. The times ahead will test your faith, but they will also refine it. Do not be afraid, for you are not alone. The Lord your God is with you, and His power is moving in your life even now. Take refuge in His sacred heart, and you will find the strength to endure whatever comes. God's love for you is greater than any conflict, greater than any fear. His peace will reign in your hearts if you allow Him to enter. Stay close to the sacraments, pray without ceasing, and trust in the Lord's mercy. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.